Hey, hey, hey. Hello, everybody. Happy Sunday. It's Bethany here from Count Your Stitches. How are you all tonight? Good to be back with you at our normal eight o'clock Sunday time. My glasses are doing something so weird with my piece of here. It's like, um, but good to be back with you guys. Hello, hello. Just, um, Getting this out. Don't forget to sprinkle this video. Alrighty. And who we've got already. Hello, Kristen. We already have some friends hopping on. Make sure that you say hey when you are hopping on so that we can chat. Hello, mom. Lots of friends already. So make sure that you drop a comment below saying hello when you hop on. So we can chat and have fun together. Again, my name is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. Don't forget to sprinkle this video. If you love it, we can spread the crafting love. So um, let some time for more people to hop on. Yeah, I don't know what. It's so weird. My yeah, like just this one piece, like poops, it pops it out. That's so funny. <laughs> Hi, mom. So yeah, make sure that you say hello when you hop on. We can get started hanging, you know. Our usual Sunday night. I can hear my clock chiming, so I know that I'm on time tonight. I'm back to our normal eight o'clock time. Crafting together. Oh, so tonight, guys, we are gonna do Valentine's. Last week we did um Hello D. Thanks for hopping on. Um, last week we did more of like a winter, we did the ice skate. Um, which was so popular, we already made a second one, so that was awesome. Um, and yeah, so this week we're going back to Valentine's. Um, so we're gonna do a Valentine's Day craft today, a small one. You can see, kind of, literally, you can see, well, I have a big head, so that doesn't help. Um, I don't know, this is a, I'm not sure what size this is. I don't know, eight inches maybe, eight inches tall. It's a, it's a little canvas, it's one of the little ones. Hi, Kristen. Oh, goodness gracious. Tell Tommy I said hello. Hope he's well. Goodness. Wow. That's too funny. Hello, Michelle. Thank you for hopping on. So much fun. I love when we have new people. Kristen, I don't... Are you, are you new with us, Kristen? Forgive me if I don't remember if you chopped on with us before. But we love when we have lots of friends together, new friends together. So, all right. So, guys, this one's going to take a little bit longer than we've been doing some kind of super quick ones lately. So, this one's going to take a little longer. I hope everybody likes my Patriots attire. Um... Bob and I were talking the past two weekends. We knew the Patriots were definitely not going to lose. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> so, okay. So um, this week we are going to take this little, it's a small canvas. Um, and um, then a little heart cut out. And we are going to make a cute little, a cute little picture thing, but it's going to be in the frame. So I'm going to show you how to take one of these canvases um, how to take it apart and then make it into like a, a nice picture frame with a nice canvas background. So we're doing like a reverse canvas. So I have um, a utility knife um, that I'm just going to separate. And I'm going to cut um, on the outside, but still on this back edge, but on the outside of the staples. That way we can just easily peel it up. Alrighty. Hello, Yvonne. Thanks for hopping on. Thanks for saying hey. So many friends watching. This is awesome. So I'm just going to take my utility knife, whoops, and not hurt myself. I probably should have did part of this like ahead of time, but that's okay. So how is everybody doing this Sunday? I have got to tell you the funny story with this utility knife. So we, um, we redid our, oh good, it's working, yay. We redid our basement and we needed to, um, rip, we wanted to rip up our carpet down there. And I was like, Oh, I can totally do this. I have a utility knife, right? Hi, Jennifer. Thanks for hopping on. I'm glad you were able to catch me this time. Glad you were able to catch us this time, Jennifer. Awesome, awesome. Um, so yeah, so I'm like, I have a utility knife. We can totally rip up a carpet, right? Um, and so we're, we're doing it. And I'm noticing that in order to rip it up, I had to like put it this far out and cut with like here. And I'm like, I don't know, maybe I just need to like snap the edges off because it has the little ridges. And growing up, my dad had one that you snapped it off, right, you, as you went. And I'm like, well, I guess it's just not working, so I'm just going to have to deal with it. And 
I mean, it was a pain in, in the butt to just rip this carpet up. And we have a pool table and we had to cut around the pool table because Lord knows we're not going to pay to um, have it dismantled and then re-leveled um, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm like, if I just cut around it, um, then it's like the uh, pool table has its own little like carpet pads underneath, right? Protect the floor. So it works out fine. Um, and then, so we do that. And I mean, it was like an absolute pain to cut up the, especially the pieces underneath the, um, the pool table. And I'm like laying down, like trying to, oh my gosh, it was, oh my goodness. Hello, Christine. Hi, Tiffany. Hi, everybody. Thanks for hopping on. Um, but so it was such a pain to just cut around the pool table and all, oh my gosh, it was just, oh my goodness. And then, so then I'm like, I have, once we finished the whole project, right, and I have like rug burns and cuts and it was, you know, it was, you know, ripping up a rug. Um, so once we finished, finally, I'm like, let me just Google how to snap these things off. Because again, I grew up with one where you, my dad snapped them off and you would just, until you ran out of knife or whatever. So I look it up and then I find out that the kind I have, I just have to open up the bottom and there's extra ones of these in there. So I just, you know, take it out and put a whole new one in. Now it cuts beautifully. <laughs> that would have been nice to know after we ripped up I, a lot of square feet of carpet. But hey, live and learn, right guys? <laughs> it's all part of owning a home and doing things yourself. All right, so I just cut off, oops, almost, I almost cut off the whole canvas with my beautifully sharp utility knife. Please be careful with this though, guys. Um, but it does work with relative ease. It's just getting, the reason I'm having trouble is because of um, the staples, not just getting around the staples, not because of, um, not because this is difficult or anything. But I mean, it is a bit of a process, but it happens, it works for you. All right, so I cut around, oh my gosh, hold on. Oh, there we go, we're there, guys. So, closed it up, put that away. Okay, goodbye. We don't need you anymore, but I love using that thing. Now I use it to open up boxes and everything. It's awesome. Hello, Krista. Thank you for hopping on. Make sure that you're sprinkling this video, uh, making sure that you're saying hello when you're hopping on. Again, for those of you who are just hopping on, my name is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. We're doing a Valentine's Day craft tonight. So I just finished cutting off the back of the canvas so you can see that the staples and kind of that extra piece of canvas are still there. Most people would um, take out all the staples. I'm not going to. I'm just going to rip off the rest of the canvas if I can. Yep. I'm just going to rip off most of the rest of the canvas. This is my trash over here. Um, normally I would take off, take out all the staples, but we're going to cover it, so I'm not really worried about it. Krista, I live in Rhode Island. We're out of Rhode Island. Thanks for asking. Um, so, um, but yeah, so normally I would take the staples out, but really we're gonna cover it again, you'll see. Um, so I'm not gonna worry about it, cause that is a pain. Um, actually, one of them is coming out, so we're just gonna pull that out while we're here. Um, I do technically have a pair of, I have pliers in here that I could use to take it out, but I'm not gonna worry about it. So, okay, so I took off the rest of the canvas, most of it, I cut some of the wood by accident. So I'm just gonna kind of pull some of that off. So I wanted to do that first just to get it done. Um, I'm just trying to, there's a little bit here I wanna scooch off. So these corners are kind of finicky. Um, where are my pliers? But yeah, so whenever you're working with a utility knife, if you're finding that it's not sharp, um, just Google the kind of knife that you have and mine just came with, you literally just take this black piece off the bottom and there was a beautiful one just like right in there. Okay, I live in Texas, but I'm from New Hampshire level. Oh, thank you so much, Krista, and hello. My goodness gracious, all the way from Texas. This is awesome. Well, so you said that you're from New Hampshire, so New Hampshire is um, our favorite place. So, so we still have that in common. I'm talking with a knife, this is a problem. Um, but New Hampshire is our absolute favorite place. So, um, so we, we've got that girl, all right, cool. So I wanted to do that to get it started, but I am gonna set it aside for a minute I, um, because I want to work on our heart to let that dry and then we'll work on this after, alrighty? So 
We're going to do totally something different with our heart tonight. Um, <laughs> yes, awesome, Krista. Awesome, awesome. Um, we're going to do something totally different in terms of material tonight with our heart. Um, so I have this cute little heart cut out. And again, it always has that little hole because they're meant to be ornaments or some or like hanging things. Um, but we're not going to do that. We're going to we're going to Mod Podge. So we Mod Podge all the time. So that's not the new part. Um, but um, we're going to Mod Podge fabric and ribbon. So we're going to do a ribbon and fabric covered heart. Hello, Amanda. Thank you for hopping on. Love having everybody here tonight. Happy Sunday. Um, so we're going to Mod Podge. We have some like scrap fabric here, some ribbon. Um, yeah, just kind of a different different go of it here, guys which I'm excited about. Grab a, I'm just gonna grab a um, paintbrush and I've just got some gloss Mod Podge because I'm going for kind of a glam, glamtastic Valentine's look with this one, not rustic. I love rustic, you know that I do like lots of things rustic, but I don't know, I thought something out of the ordinary tonight, a little glam, a little glamtastic. So we're gonna use gloss Mod Podge to make it look a little bit more fabulous. Um, so, okay, so I have got Scrap fabric from uh, making masks. So like this is from when I cut off the angle for the mask. This is mask fabric. This is from that Grinch wreath. I got some extra bandana left over. And then I've just got some fun um, ribbon, just some like lace going on here. Um, and then some polka dot -y stuff. I love this one. I missed the beginning. Is the heart made out of wood? Yes, Tiffany. So this is a wood cutout. It comes in a pack of five. Um, you can get them at all sorts of places. Um, so yes, it's a wooden heart. Um, it's rather thin. Um, so it means it's nice and light. You don't have to worry about it. It's easy to attach to things. Um, so, okay. I haven't done this before, <laughs> but we're going to try. All right. So make sure, um, that when you're hopping on that you're saying hello in the comment section, make sure that you sprinkle this video, um, so that we can share the crafting love. So I'm going to take so basically what I'm going to do here, guys, I hope, I think you can see this. So I'm just going to like take pieces of this and kind of just like, you know, just lay it and just be kind of cool with it, you know, and just, you know, and then we'll cut off the excess essentially. I'm actually going to cut this piece of red. It's a little, we don't need to work with quite this much. All right. Save that for another project. Okay. So I think let's grab some Mod Podge. I'm going to start kind of in this little, have I not used this yet? Oh, no, because I have a small one. Hello, tiny one. We had a big one, we had a tiny one. All right, so bang this out. So what is everyone up to? How was your weekend? It was rather warm, don't you think? For a January weekend, if I do say so myself. This would not be alive if we didn't talk about the weather. <laughs> All right, so I'm just sticking on this piece of red in the corner here. And I am going to Mod Podge over as I go. We might have to open up that big one. Oh, that was a big glob. That's okay. We'll just do that. All right. And we're going to go down here. Um, so I'm trying to think, what did we do this weekend? We pretty chill this weekend. Um, we've been watching football, obviously. Football's our thing. It's warm there too, Krista. Now, Krista, is it normally warm this time of year in Texas? Forgive me for not knowing. Um, whoops, that's not enough. Um, because it's normally obviously not warm here. Um, but I think in the Northeast, we think it's always warm in the South. <laughs> so we don't, so is it, is that out of the ordinary for you guys, Krista? Um, I am... I'm going to let that go up here too. Yep. There we go. Stick that down. So I'm letting everything kind of overlap guys. All right. Oh God. Hello. A lot going on there. So yeah, we watched a lot of football. Still watching football. I'll get back to it. Oh, Jennifer, what did you craft? Share, please. Would love to, would love to see what, or just hear about what you were crafting with. I love sharing crafts. Oh, I did some crafting yesterday. Um, 
And oh, and I made a little thing, so I'll show you guys what I made later. I love that. Today we're quite chilly here in the Cape. Beautiful sunny day with the wind. In. Yeah, it was really windy today, huh, Tiffany? And I would imagine down Cape it was it was so much more windy. Um, yeah, it really made it a lot chillier um, because of the wind today. All right. So guys, I'm just totally going at random with all of this, okay? And I might need to like cut some of this off to pat, patch up here somewhere. Hmm. Let's see. How do I want to do this? I don't want to cover all of my red, so I think we'll go straight down with this piece and get a little bit more Mod Podge going. Because, yeah, I'm covering I'm Well, you know what? We have more red, so we can put that on after if we need to. Right, guys? This is kind of fun, though. I enjoy this. I need to cut this. Um, and, you know, I like using... I feel like, you know, you always kind of use the same stuff. Um, you just get used to it, you know, so... Kind of fun to do a different idea. Um, and who knew you could like Mod Podge with lip ribbon and stuff? All right, let's see. Ben's not as cold as, you, as you're as you used to. <laughs> oh, wow. So it's only like 30 to 40, and um, but it was 65. Gosh. it Wow. I didn't realize it got that cold in Texas, like 30s and 40s. And just pure naivete, I'm sure, here. Uh, ooh, a lot of Mod Podge here, guys. A lot of Mod Podge. Oops, the daisies. That's okay. Um, I did not, I absolutely did not realize how chilly it got there. Oh, wow, Jennifer, you made a lot of things today. That's so cool. Uh, hi, Laura. So, Jennifer, what kind of cricket do you have that you were using today? I love my cricket. I make lots of things with my Cricut. Um, this, whew, I'm going to wait to use this at the end because it's a little bit too transparent for what I'm going for. All right, let's see here. I don't want to cover a lot with this. So I'm going to cut a little piece and just kind of stick it on here. There we go. And again, guys, we're just going to cut the excess off at the end. So that makes it easy. When we do ribbon, I'm sorry, when we do paper, um, we usually sand it off or we cut it to, we cut it to size first. Um, but we'll, we'll do, um, help, 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 help. We'll do cutting it off this time. Goodness gracious. Hi, Laura. It's good to see you. I'm glad you were able to hop on with us tonight. Je the maker. I just got the maker too, Jennifer. Do you have like a favorite um, project that you make on the maker? Does anybody else have a Cricut, like a favorite project they'd want to share? I recently got a maker too. Maker also. Um, T-O-O. <laughs> and um, have been like loving getting to learn how to use it. I haven't done anything too fancy with it yet. Um, but I really... I'm excited to get into bigger projects with it. <laughs> yeah, Kristen did not realize. I talked to someone on the phone at work once from Texas. They were from, I think, northern Texas. And they said they were getting snow. And I was like, whoa, I had no idea. Should go there because we haven't gotten enough snow here yet, in my opinion. Oh, Laura, you have the Cricut Maker too? I love that. And Yvonne, I know. Yvonne, Yvonne it, you know... It's funny because I, I, I didn't want to get it. I didn't want to spend. And then I figured I talked about it so much with Bob that I was like, you know what? Just to make him not have to listen to me anymore. I'm just going to break down and get it. We're running out of Mod Podge here, guys. Oh, just started using. Oh, Jennifer, you just. Oh, sweet. That's awesome. So we're, we're starting together. Laura loves. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So Laura loves to doing glass etching and yes, stencils are my new favorite thing. I'm finding that I love using a stencil way more than like cutting out vinyl words. I just think it has a, such a nice, uh, much better look to it. Um, I've been making a lot of like little signs for people like wedding signs and stuff. Um, so Yvonne, I have, Laura, I'm going to get back to you in a second about that glass etching. Yvonne, I started with the Joy, and I loved it because I really only did smaller projects. And I was like, this is perfect. I'll never need a bigger one. And then I feel like once you get one, you're like, I need a bigger one. So um, 
I have both and I, I love using both, to be honest. Um, it's nice to have the joy for small projects, like instead of having to take out the big mats and everything when you're just doing a small project. Um, I said I was going to layer this lace over, but I'm not going to. I'm actually going to just finish off the whole look with it. Um, but yeah, so I like having the joy for my small projects. And then I love having the maker, obviously, so you can do more. It's just more versatile. Um, so I think joy is a great way to start if you want to just do like vinyl and paper um, and simple stuff and smaller stuff. Like you can't cut anything bigger than, um, um, I think it's like four and a half inches wide. You can, go, you can go quite as long as you'd like, especially if you use the joy smart vinyl. Um, but you can't, yeah, you can't cut anything wider than four and a half inches. So I was looking to do a little bit bigger projects with it. So um, that's why I ended up getting the maker too. Guys, I'm just going to take one more piece of this fun polka dot over here. Hi, Joanne! Um, and just put it up in kind of the corner here. Um, oh, so Laura. My thoughts exactly. I think I'll invest in the bigger... Yeah, to be honest, um, if I had known I would go for the bigger one as quickly as I did. I'm not sure I would have gotten the joy. However, it was on like super clearance at Walmart when I got it. So I didn't buy it full price. Um, I bought it for like peanuts in cricket terms. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's really kind of how that happened. All right, guys, we have got this thing amply covered. It looks like a mess. I don't know how I'm going to pick it up. <laughs> I'm going to use my little cricket spatula thingy to kind of scrape it up from the bottom without lifting any of the stuff because I want to let it to dry over here so we're gonna you dry okay you dry you dry you have fun over there okay wipe my cricket thing off all right here we go so hi Bob yeah Yvonne let me know how you make out and you know what you go for and projects that you're doing um I love crafting with other people so let me know I'm gonna put this in, we're not gonna use this brush again. I'm just gonna rinse it off quick because I don't want that Mod Podge to dry on the bristles. Um, and then I'm gonna let that sit. All right, this is extra. Put that over there, put that over there. Okay, here we go. Moving on to the frame. Um, oh, so Laura, tell me about glass etching because there are two things that I really wanna do, wood burning and glass etching. And I saw that you can use like a pen for wood burning because <laughs> you just, you use the pen and then you use your heat gun um, to activate it. And then I saw that you can just buy glass etching cream and that you just use a stencil, however you make your stencil, Cricut, whatever, um, with the, the sticky vinyl, then you just fill in the cream. So like, Laura, tell me favorite cream, tell me favorite, every, like, tell me how to do this. I want to glass etch. I want to... Edge glass, <laughs> glass edge. I want to edge glass. <laughs> Whoo, guys, I am all over the place tonight. Oh my goodness, where's Mrs. T's brush? Here's Mrs. T's brush. We're using our faves tonight, guys. Whew, all right, and I'm using a brand new bag tonight because I've been using the same, um, you know, market basket paper bag because I love using these. Um, and it's like, it's a mess. I'm like, these. everybody deserves to see a nice clean mat tonight. Oh, so, all right, I am going to do, because we're going a little glamtastic here, guys, I really wish I had metallic paint. This would be the moment for metallic paint, but I don't have any. So, you know, to pull kind of from what we ha what ha what's happening here with the different colors, um, and because we use that polka dot with the, uh, the ribbon with the black polka dot, I'm going to paint this black. I'm like, okay, cool, because the background's going to be this, the white, and then you'll have the, the crazy pink reds against it and then we'll have the black frame to give a nice frame and then I have some embellishments that I want to see if you guys like that we might add okay so right now I'm going to do my acrylic paint all right let's see what Laura says to tell us about what to do with glass etching armor etch okay I've, I've seen that one all Christmas gifts with it you make a stencil permanent vinyl sticks okay that's good to know permanent vinyl thank you um and then use the acid over the stencil to etch I'll send you some. Oh my gosh, Laura, please send pictures. Absolutely. 
So cool. Laura, I wish you were around here because we could do like a live together. You know what I mean? Do like this and we could just craft together all the time. Why do you live so far away, Laura? I miss you. I miss everybody. It's Corona and we can't see anybody. Gosh. Okay, guys, I'm not even gonna put this on a plate tonight. We're just gonna, just gonna apply directly to the wood. Okay, we'll start there. I'm gonna paint all edges, all sides. Well, maybe the back, I don't know. We'll see how I feel. We'll see how I feel if I wanna do that or not. All right, I'm gonna leave this little area um, for now. Don't forget, we're gonna paint our inside of the frame too because that will be seen. That will definitely be seen. Man, this acrylic paint is doing well tonight, guys. This is awesome, it got in the brush nicely. Just painting up a frame. I'm not even sure we're gonna need a second coat because this is just doing so well. Probably should have sanded this first because I made such a mess of it when I was cutting. But we're just gonna ignore that. This is imperfectville, right? We guys, we don't care as much. All right, now I'm just gonna get some a little bit of more paint in here. There we go, so we can get the inside going. Whoops. We will dry that later so that we don't worry about it. So what else is everybody up to this weekend? Tell me what's going on. You got it. And yes, why are we? I know, Laura, it's not cool. I don't like it. I miss you. Ugh. But yeah, I'm trying to think. What else did we do this weekend, guys? Um, What else did we do? Guys, I can't even remember what I did this weekend. All right, I'm going to hit this with the heat gun real fast. Oh, hold on. Let's finish it. Let's finish painting right here. All right, guys, this was super quick and easy painting this black, huh? All right, I'm just gonna heat gun this real fast. Dry my fingers. Oh, yesterday, yesterday, we were, oh, ran errands, yes. Yesterday, I know, really exciting, we ran errands. Um, so yesterday, dropped off a few projects at my aunt's salon, hashtag sheer imagination. Get at that place, it is the best. Um, dropped off some projects there. Auntie Kim ordered a few things. Um, and then she lets me display some of my things too. So it's kind of like my, my little shop. <laughs> um, and then we went to Kohl's because Bob needed some, um, some new running walking shoes. Um, and then we went to Mary Lou's because that's my favorite. Um, Drop a, drop a pink heart below if you love Mary Lou's like I do. Love M. Lou's. Really? No pink hearts in the comment section right now for Mary Lou's? People, give me some give me some pink hearts in the comment section. Or you can love it. That works too. Maybe that was mom who loved it. Maybe she doesn't know about the pink hearts. But come on, peeps. Um, I am going to throw a bit, a quick um, coat on the back of this. I know, uh, yeah, just in case some of it shows through from where we're going to glue the, um, glue the canvas back on. But yeah, so we went to Emlu's, then Bob swam, because Bob is like a super awesome, oh my gosh, sorry, quick thing, our dishwasher is singing, because when it finishes, it sings. Um, oh, Thank you, um, Purple Heart, that works. I know, is that even a question, Laura? Yes, I know, Mary Lou's, my life. Um, love Purple Hearts. Um, yes, mom loved it. Hi, ha thank you, Stephanie, for the update. I know, I, I was bummed to have to miss some of it, but that's okay, because I love being here with you guys. Um, yeah, so Bob's like a super worker outer. Um, I wish I was. <laughs> um, but yeah, so he went for a swim, and I crafted, because that's, that's us. <laughs> he works out, I craft. Oh my gosh, you, you should have seen me this morning. Because, you know, sometimes I work out. Sometimes. Um, so this morning, Bob looks at me. He goes, so what time do you want to work out today? And I'm like looking at the television. I go, what? I'm like, I'm not going to work out today. He's like, oh, I thought you said you wanted to work out. I'm like, mm -mm, no, no, I'm good. Thank you. You have fun, though. Um, <laughs> oh. I see you crochet. I do also do you knit. I learned... I do not knit, Jennifer. Um, I have tried before and failed miserably. Um, so I, I 
Uh, two needles, I can't do. One hook, I got it. But when I have to do, I, can't, I just, I can't. I just can't. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, Jennifer, I just crochet. My mom taught me how to crochet when I was younger. Um, and she taught me all the basics. And then I used a lot of YouTube videos to learn how to do like stuffed animals and stuff like that. Guys, you're like all over the comments. I'm loving this, guys. Make sure, This is so awesome. Make sure that you're sprinkling this video as well. Um, we can spread the crafting love. I want to make sure I don't miss anybody. Oh, Krista. What is Mary Lou's? Mary Lou's is a coffee place um, that is probably overpriced. Let's be honest, guys, right? Not quite as overpriced as Starbucks, um, but it makes deliciousness. Liquid deliciousness. Um, I get the peanut butter wonderful, iced, my favorite, with just a little bit of cream. No, no need to sweeten that bad boy up. It's already sweet enough. Love it. Um, but yeah, so it's an awesome coffee place. Insane different flavors. Yep, Laura's got it. Oh yeah, I forgot they had a Girl Scout cookie flavor. Um, ooh, all right, there we go. What do we think? I'm gonna flip that back over. Are we good? Do we need another coat? I don't think so. All right, I am just going to heat gun this whole area. Oh boy, okay. Yep, we're just gonna dry, dry in my workspace. I'm gonna dry, make sure this is dry. I don't want to get any black. Um, I don't wanna get any black on the heart when we get that going or on the canvas. So we're gonna dry our workspace, literally drying the paper bag, guys. But hey, it's what we have to do to make sure that the project comes out beautiful. Hello, Lauren! Welcome! Oh my gosh, yes, Laura. It is what happiness tastes like. Yes, it is. Oh my gosh, I, I can't even keep up with everybody. Yes, Krista, it oh, you'd love it. I'm sure you'd love it. Aroma in North Smithfield and Woonie. Oh, Winsaki and I assume that means Yvonne. <laughs> Um, is that like Aroma Joe's? Is that what that's called? When I worked for Maine Maritime, um, and I was on the road as an admissions counselor, I saw a lot of, I think it was Aroma Joe's, is that what it's called? Um, it's what happiness tastes like, oh my gosh, I just love this. Jennifer, I went to crochet when I was young too, but my mom, yeah, you know, Jennifer, um, similar story with me. So my mom told me when I was young, and then I didn't do much of it, sorry guys, I just really want to make sure this is dry. Um. And then I didn't do too much of it when I was in college. I kind of picked it back up again um, and then kind of let it go again. And then a little, bit, little after college, I started doing it again. Um, and that's when I was, I really wanted to like learn how to make new things, like not just hats and scarves and things. And so now, I mean, I've made just all sorts of fun stuff. Um, and excuse me. Um, and yeah, I really... Um, I love making, I think stuffed animals and things are probably my favorite thing to make right now. Um, well, and they have been, to be honest. And they take time, um, but I don't know. I It's just, I love it. And I love when they're going to like babies or little kids and then you get pictures sent back to you of the people who got them and oh my, and the little kids, it just makes my whole day. Um, so yeah, I, I really like doing the stuffed animals. Um, but like I made a hat from a girl, Amy, um, and she keeps sending me pictures and it's so cute. So like that made me happy too. So I like those kinds of projects are quicker too, which is fun. Um, and like, oh, I make baby blankets sometimes. And whew, every time I make a baby blanket, I say to myself, why do I make baby blankets? Or because I don't make regular blankets. Forget it. Like do not have the patience for a blanket and then barely have a barely have the patience for a baby blanket. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I like quick stuff. I mean, stuffed animals take a long time, but everything is different pieces. So I feel like it doesn't feel like it's, it's as arduous because it, like I have to make the head and then the body and then the two legs and then the two arms. And the, so it just doesn't take quite as long um, in my head somehow. I don't know, guys, I'm like covered in paint here. Oh, hello, Color Street. Let's chat while we plug in the glue gun because that has to, that has to, you know what we're gonna do, guys? I'm gonna plug in the glue gun. And while we're plugging in the glue gun and waiting for that to heat up, we're also going to hit the heart with some Mod Podge. 
because it is not drying quite as fast as I would like it to. Probably because I applied like, I don't know, 50 million coats of Mod Podge, but that's okay. Um, sugar, I forgot what I was talking about. Um, what was I talking about? Someone help. Oh, Color Street, yay, yes, yes, Krista, everybody, yes. Yeah, Jennifer, that's it. I like to do that. So, so it depends because I am very much like I want to start it and then finish it. However, I, I feel like I have that like squirrel, you know, thing going on where I'm like, oh, I want to start a new one. Oh, I want to start this. And then like I see this other ball of yarn that I haven't finished yet. Um, So but skipping around does kind of help handle like how long something might take. So that's definitely a, that's definitely a good thing. Um, Yes. So Color Street, Krista. Yes. Laura. Yes. So um. First round, I wanted to test their claim that, you know, it's a it's it's a one-stop shop and that, you know, it's your bottom coat, it's your top coat, it's your, you know, color coat and all that. Um, so I applied it and I did nothing else. I did not put a top coat, nothing. Um... And I was telling you guys last week how I, I had the trouble because when I was um, applying them, I saw that I was like filing off the edges and that bothers me because I have like kind of some OCD tendencies in terms of that. So that's okay. That's better. We'll let that dry the rest of its way on its own. Um, so that kind of bothered me. Um, not kind of, a lot. Like that's all Bob's heard about the last week was my nails. Um, so it bothered me a lot. Um, so, and it, so from what like filed off, um, I was like, okay, maybe it won't chip any more than that. So that's kind of where I was kind of just trying to see if it would chip any more than that. Um, and it did like a little bit on my right hand cause I'm a righty. Um, and, but not a ton, not a wicked ton. Um, so all right, we're gonna start by just cutting off these edges here. Um, but not a wicked ton. So I was like, okay. So I did the trick. Um, whoa, hello. I did the trick um, that when I was done with the pack, um, I resealed it with my straightener. Um, my heat, I like re ironed it shut, right? So I was like, okay, so yesterday I wanted to re, you know, use my, my reuses and then I got a free sample. That's my accent nail. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, not, not good lighting, um, but it's like a little glittery piece there. Um, so first of all, forgot to use the alcohol prep pad. So, so I'm having a little chippage, I think because of that. Second of all, who else is hopping on here? Hi, Terry. Um, second of all, um, it was the second round of using them. So I think they dried a little bit so they didn't go on quite as easily because I found that the new one, the new accent nail one went on a lot easier than the, the second try second go round of the other color, this like tannish brownish color, um, which I really love. Um, but I will tell you when I kind of filed them off, I did it much care, much more carefully. And then I think it was Jennifer, was it you? who suggested um, just file the nail down a little bit to get rid of that tiny space there. And I actually did that and it worked on every nail that I did that on. So that was really nice. Um, but again, because I had to use ones that really weren't the perfect size or they were maybe a little bit dry because it was second round, um, they certainly didn't go on as well. So I am getting a little bit of chippage. Um, oh, and I did put a top coat on. I used the Sally Hansen top um, super shine or mega shine top coat, which my mom and I have been using for decades, um, years, right? Um, yeah, Jennifer, thank you for that tip because that really, really helped. Um, so I am getting like a little bit of chippage. Like I washed my hair this morning, so that was like some super like getting in there with the nails. But again, I'm attributing a lot of that to that I used the second round because on the new ones that I used on my accent nail, um, I'm not seeing that kind of chippage. So... I'm thinking, well, maybe a little bit. I don't know. I'm being picky here, guys. So next week, I'm going to try again. Um, thanks, Jennifer. Next week, I'm going to try again um, with a new package with, you know, filing carefully, filing down a little bit afterwards, and then 
putting a top coat on and we'll see how those last. But I do think these are going to last better than last week's just because of the extra steps. Um, and I just got a new one that's Valentine's and glittery and hearts and stuff. So I'm excited about that. Hi, Mrs. Borges. Thanks for hopping on. Um, but yeah, so anyway, so that's my color street journey so far. Um, so we're in week two now. Um, so yeah, thank you for asking guys. So heat gun, I'm um, sorry, not heat gun. Glue gun is now warmed up. Thank you, Krista. I think they look nice too. I like them. Um, and I love a good little glittery accent now, you know what I'm saying? Um, so now I have my canvas cut. Let's see if that's enough cut. I think so. We can always cut more off later if we need to. So I cut it down and we're going to glue it back on the back now. Um, so again, like reverse canvas, you know what I'm saying? So we just to kind of review where, how we got to here, um, we took a canvas and we cut the back of it off around the staples and pulled it off. And then I cut the edges off. So now it's, uh, we painted this, obviously we cut the edges off that the parts that we cut, um, with the knife. And now we're going to take, this is the nice white side of it. We're going to take, flip over the, um, the frame. So it's, it's staples side up. And we're going to take the canvas, nice white part side down, and we're going to glue it back on. So then it's going to look like that. Okay. So again, reverse canvas, little picture frame. I love this trick. So I'm going to just glue this back on. I'm going to glue it one part at a time because I don't want my glue to dry. So we'll glue as we go. But yeah, so um, so that's my color street journey. I'm thinking um, 20 to 13 saints. Whoop, whoop. Awesome. Um, I'm, I love having my nails painted. I know like, I know like nails aren't really a big deal, but I love having my nails painted. It makes me feel more girly, makes me feel more put together. Um, you know, even if I'm just at home, like in sweats or whatever. Um, and, but I just, I dislike how long it takes, you know, and, um, you know, the time to, the time to paint them doesn't take that long. It's the time to make sure you let them dry so that they don't get messed up. And, you know, like, sorry guys, my glue gun just like dropped all over and that burned my finger, but it's fine, but it's fine. I'm like having, I'm having glue gun trouble here, guys. I don't know why. Um, but anywho, so yeah, so I just dislike the amount of time it takes to make sure that they dry and that. They don't get messed up. So I was hoping, you know, Color Street could solve that for me. And I don't know. I I think yes and no. Will I always go to it? I'm not sure yet. You know, we're not, I'm not into it enough. And, um, oh, and my mom said she was putting them on tonight. So I can't, and I'm going to see her tomorrow. Um, hashtag Martin Luther King Day. Day off. Totally forgot about that. Love a surprise long weekend. Yes, right, Krista? I mean... Like, it might take me a half an hour to paint them, which is awesome. Can totally find 30 minutes, you know, here and there. But, like, to let them dry is just not happening. You know what I'm saying? Guys, later on, I don't know. I might, I don't know, maybe, like, get some cute ribbon and, like, lay that along the edge on the back just to finish it off. Um, I don't know. Mom, have it go. Tell me, tell us how it went, Mom. Uh, Mom tried her color street nails tonight. Tell us how it went. Um, but all right, guys, so we've got our canvas now. Can you see that? A little better in my light here, sorry. Um, so it's now a picture frame, essentially. And we're gonna use, I tried them myself for that reason, but I'm not 100% sold on. Yeah, Krista, I feel the same way. I'm not 100% sold yet. We, ha I mean, I have time, I'm not that far into it yet, but um, I'm excited to see how the Valentine's ones look, because I'm thinking they might be good for like occasions. So. They have cute Valentine's patterns, cute St. Patrick's Day patterns. Um, they have an awesome American flag one from um, 4th of July. So I'm thinking that might be how I go with it. I like the design office for Color Street because exactly, Laura, like I can paint my nails this color, but like I don't have the fanciness or all those designs that they have. Right. So I'm with you on that, Laura, that it's really good for all of the designs. All right. So. Here's our heart, guys. You can see it really well, right? There's a heart in there somewhere. See? Ah! All right, so now that we've got this all glued together, we are going to take a pair of scissors and I'm going to cut the excess off the heart now that it is dry. 
Mom said they were a pain to put on, but they look nice. Put a top coat on. I found trimming with the metal file helped a lot. Oh, mom, so you used a metal file. Oh, look at this. See, guys, we're learning together how to use these things, right? <laughs> I can't wait to see them tomorrow, mom. Um, all right, so I'm going to cut the excess off here, hopefully. <laughs> it's not going to be perfect, guys, but that's okay. Oh, jeez, this is difficult. This is proving to be difficult, and I don't know why. Okay. Mod Podge is thick, and then all the different fabrics and such. I might sand this um, once it's all cut off, just to clean up the edges a little. And actually, I'll probably use a nail file for inside there. Oh my gosh, this looks so cute though, I love this. Yay, I love when things work. Oh, I, sometimes it's a surprise. Um, oh, yay. Yeah, um, yeah, Jennifer, I'm saying that to mom. I'm gonna have to try that too using a metal file. It's a great idea. I don't know if I have a metal file. I might. Um, all right, so we're just cutting off. Guys, this has been a great combo tonight. I'm so excited. Ooh, just kind of cut off the inside here. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We've got our excess here, throw that away. I'm gonna grab a nail file, one that I don't really use. Oh, let's use this one, because it's got hearts on it. I don't know if it's, I'm gonna use the rougher side to, yeah, I'm not sure this is gonna work, we'll have to see. I'm trying to file off the excess fabric here from the inside of this heart here. It might, oh, I think it might be working, guys. Oh, don't file up and down, just down, just down. <laughs> Alrighty, just trying to get this inside beautiful. Come on, almost there. I think I can cut that now. Perfect, okay, there we go. Check that out, guys, how cute is that? Total, like, mess, you know, craziness. I have an, oh, thank you, Mom. I might take, I might take him on that because I don't know if I have one. All right, I'm just going to file off. Again, I mean, I'm not going for, like, total perfect here, guys, but there's just some, like, funkiness happening. So I'm just using a nail file, um, one that I don't use for my nails, um, or at least I'm not going to now. <laughs> um to file off some of the excess fabric and ribbon. All right, and I kind of like how the, the black and white ribbon took on a little bit of a pink hue, um, just to, I don't know, kind of blend in, it looks nice. And I like, I like the lace, the lace looks cute. I'm a fan, all right, cool. So now, all right, now we're gonna glue this on, but we have some decisions to make, guys, okay? We have some decisions to make. I'm going to need your help, all right? So first, I'm going to glue this on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Having trouble holding this. What happened? All right. I'm going to center this as best as I can. And then I'm going to press down. All righty. So, we could leave it like this, guys. Or, oh, hello, Monique. Thank you so much. Are you new with us, Monique? It's so nice to hear from you. Love, love Mod Podge in general, huh, Monique? All right, so, this is what we've got so far, okay? Little framed, cute, adorbs. Absolutely adorbs. Here is my question, guys, and I'm gonna need your help with this, okay? Let's take a quick drink. In my Ideos Mio cup. Love this. It was one of my favorite Christmas gifts that someone got me. All right, so I have these little pearl beads. This is where I'm wondering if we should take Glentastic to like an extreme here because right now this is still a little rustic chic, a little. So we have these little pearl beads. I had a couple of thoughts. My first thought was that we could like glue them, like maybe three in these two outside corners, right? Just these two. Do like a little corner embellishment. 
or I could just do like one right, you know, right up top here in the middle, or I could take them and line them around the heart. So that's my other idea. I need some help. What do we think? Should we do a little corner accent with the pearl beads? Just a little pearl in the middle? Should we line it with pearls? No pearls? Drop a comment. Let me know your thoughts on what we should do with the pearl beads. Monique, yep, new. Oh, yay, Monique. Welcome to Count Your Stitches. I am Bethany. It's nice to meet you. Um, oh, goodness. Um, I don't, Mod Podge, it is messy, and it's all over my fingers and all over this, this bag. So don't think it's... I'm, thank you for selling, saying that I may make it look easy, but it is messy. I'm with you entirely. All right, around the heart, corners, one in the middle. Oh, gosh, guys. <laughs> corner accent, corner accent. Okay, so it looks like corner accent for the win. Krista, I have to say, I'm a little bit with you on wanting to do the whole thing, but I am wondering if it's going to be too crowded I'm, now that I'm thinking about it because they're going to come real close to the frame. So let's try corner accent, guys, because it looks like lots of people are going for corner. Um, but Krista, I'm with you. Um, and Jennifer, I like the one in the middle too, but I think I want it to be a little bit more glam. So here we go. We're going to do... They have, so you could make like necklaces and stuff out of these guys, little, these little pearls. Um, they're just plastic. I mean, they're nothing fancy here, guys. So they have the, the hole in the middle to put a string through or whatever. So I am going to do, oh, Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Um, I like, maybe we could do a little hybrid corners and then one in the middle too, a little pull it all together. I think that might be, that might be where we go with it. We can combine. All right. So. I am going to glue this so that the two holes are on either side um, so that you don't see them straight on. All right, we're going to need another glue stick. Please hold. I brought my little car. I rolled my cart over. Um, so, okay, I'm just going to put one in the middle. Well, dab in the middle here. And we're going to do this like this. All righty. And then I'm going to dab this on here because I'm not quite sure where it's going to line up. So I don't want to put glue where we don't need it. Alrighty. So I'm just going to put three in the two corners that are opposite each other. Alrighty. Just holding it by those two holes. That's kind of how I'm balancing it. Yeah. Okay. Jennifer. Awesome. I'm glad you agree. I think we're going to do, how, how does everybody else feel? We'll do the two corners and then one in the middle of the heart too. I think that'll kind of finish up the heart nicely. I feel like it needs a little something. So there's one corner. I'm already loving this, guys. You guys are great. Awesome job putting this together with me. <laughs> I'm going to flip it around, get a dab in the middle here. Maybe we won't need another glue stick. We might just make it, guys. There's one. Oh, oh and I have to show you what I made, too, um, yesterday. So that, get that I want to because I love what I made yesterday and Laura it goes along with what we're talking about using stencils with the Cricut um, because my original plan for the project that I made yesterday was to use vinyl letters um, and put those on and then I don't know I'm just like no I'm loving stenciling lately guys I just think it looks it's such a nicer look in my opinion the stencil um, I mean, I love using vinyl letters because they're just so appropriate for so many things. Um, but I think when you're trying to do like a nice wood piece that is more of a rustic, homey feel, a lot of times the stencil is like what you're going for, you know? Um, so you'll see, you'll see how I did that. All right, guys. So we've got the two edges done. Ah, how adorable is that, guys? So we still game for one in the middle. Yes. Thumbs up. One in the middle. Give me some thumbs up. Here, give me some thumbs up while I show you what I made yesterday. So drop a thumbs up if we are putting um, a pearl right in the middle, our top middle of the heart. Drop a thumbs up in the comment. Um, all right, so you ready for what I made yesterday? Because I'm in love with it. I hope it's as nice as I like am in love with it as. All right, this is what we made yesterday. So I know it's backwards for you guys, but it says, let all that you do be done in love, which is, um, I believe, in the beginning of Corinthians. Um, so this is just a heart cutout. I painted it black, then I sanded it. 
So, cause we've got some like rustic edging going on here. Um, then I, then, and I dried the black. So yeah, painted it black, dried it, sanded it. Then I took red, which if you can even believe it, um, and used kind of a big, I used one of these brushes. Um, so it was big and like really bristly and painted red over it. Um, then I let that dry and then I sanded that a ton too. So it's like, it's wicked smooth. Sanded it a ton, let the edges show. Then I made a stencil on my Cricut Maker that said, let all that you do be done in love. Um, and I stenciled those on with some white paint. Then I did a nice, like with a 320 grit, real fine, real fine sandpaper, sanded that whole thing. Then I put a coat of um, matte Mod Podge on it to protect the whole thing. Then I sanded it one more time so that it really like, it's like it's one piece. You can't even feel any edges or anything. It's really nice. And then I just took some cute gray burlap ribbon, made a little bow. Um, I adore this project. It's one of my favorites that I've made. Um, and I also love like, it's just words to live by year round. So you don't have to put this up just at Valentine's Day. You could really just hang this anywhere, anytime, um, any time of the year. So that's what I love about this. But yeah, so this is what I was making yesterday. It took me a while. Um, especially just getting everything lined up nicely. And cause I couldn't do it in just one stencil. I had to do it in four. Um, but it's so worth it. And I love this project. So I'll take, I'll post pictures of this later on, later on. All right. So it looks like, Oh, thank you guys so much. You're so sweet of you guys. Um, yes, the ribbon, um, love that. Love that burlap ribbon. If you guys ever see burlap ribbon with wire, grab it. It makes just such cute everything. Um, thank you guys so, so much. So you guys are so, so sweet. Um, so it looks like we got tons of thumbs up for the um, pearl in the middle. So we're going to get that going. We'll get our last one down right in the, not in the center, but the center top. I like that too, because my ribbon kind of got a little funky there, so it's gonna cover up the imperfection. We love that. Well, too much hot glue, Bethany. Oh my goodness gracious. That's okay. So I'm just putting that pearl down. Oh yeah, I think that just finishes up the look. I like it. Just like, I, it really is, it's like a little glam-tastic. That's what I called it in the description. All right, guys, are you ready? Here we go. Isn't that adorable? I think this came out so cute. Got a little pearl in the middle, a little pearl accents. I'll probably put like maybe a little hanger on the back just so that it can be hung. Um, and yeah, you know what I need to get? Some of those tumbling blocks from the Dollar Tree so that I can make, a, I could make a little stand for it. Um, you can like glue them all together and stuff. Um, but yeah, guys, so that was tonight. So again, quick review, we took a small canvas and we did a reverse canvas technique where we cut it off the back and then cut it to size and glued it back on the back. So it became a frame, right? Frame. We took a, a cute little wooden heart cut out and Mod Podge, just some scrap fabric and ribbon on it. Super simple. Um, and then we took some little pearl beads and glued them in the corners and in the middle. Oh, thank you guys so much. You're so sweet. I really, I can't, I couldn't do this without you guys and your support. So thank you so much. This has been so much fun tonight. Um, yeah, so I will post pictures of this later so you can see more of a close up with it. I'll post pictures of the um, Let All That You Do Be Done In Love. Um, I adore that project. Um, and yeah, um, we'll be here again next week. Like always, um, I'm probably, I think, I scheduled everything, so I'm pretty sure we're doing Valentine's again next week. Um, oh, Kristen, awesome. I'm so excited to hear that. Yeah, Kristen, totally doable. Um, this one's a fun one. Oh, thank you, Laura. Laura, you're an awesome teacher, okay? You're the teacher. I'm just doing crafts, okay? But thank you. You're so sweet. I miss you. Um, but guys, thank you so much for tonight. This was so much fun. I really enjoyed this, like, extra tonight. Um, just unplugging that. And um, yeah, this was really, 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 really fun. Thank you guys so much. Um, for those of you who have tomorrow off, happy Martin Luther King Day to all. But then if you have it off, enjoy your day off. Um, I will be. I will be. <laughs> Benefits of working in schools, right, guys? Um, and I will see you next week for another Valentine's Day craft, 8 p.m. Sunday night. Um, so join me again. This was so much fun. Thank you. Have a wonderful week. And always remember to count your stitches. Bye.